Hi folks, Steve here at Bass Feathers. Today we're going to take a closer look at a 2022 Winnebago Micro Mini model 1808FBS. Uh, it's a cool little floor plan. If you are watching my video, most likely you already did a little bit of research on Winnebago, especially the Micro Mini. It's an unusual product line. It's seven foot wide. It, they're all very small trailers, nothing large, uh, but super well equipped. And of course, they come with the awesome Winnebago reputation. So I'm not going to say too much about uh, that, the, the general idea of the product line. I think you, you got that already if you're on the, on the video. So I just want to show you the options. The 1808 FBS comes with two different sitting arrangements. Either a traditional dinette or a sofa that converts into a bed where two adults can sleep on. I have both and I have them both here. So we're going to take during this video a look at both sitting arrangements. But we're going to take a closer look at all the features on this one right here. So at the front, electric tongue jacks, two times 20 pounder. Right behind is where your, um, your battery and battery box will come. We have a stone guard, a beautiful little front cap on that. Coming around to the side, there's an extra connection for a solar panel. So that would be a portable solar panel, but there is already a 190 watt solar panel installed on the roof. Um, really like the thickness of their doors. It's not very flimsy. The quality of the handle they use, it's actually made out of steel and there's an incorporated magnetic holder. On this side, the door is a little smaller, but we'll take a look at the one that's on the other side. It's pretty awesome. Uh, your water heater runs on gas and electrical. Winnebago's way they do their slide out gasket and stuff is so different than anything else on the market. I really feel that this is probably the best way to do it and that there's lots of experience behind because Winnebago is definitely an older manufacturer that focus for a very long time on the motorized. So more high-end, uh, high-ticketed prices or uh, items like motorized, uh, they've learned to do this very well. Uh, going towards the back. Okay, we have our connection. So uh, gray and black water. The valves are at the tank. Uh, so they're actually enclosed and heated as well. Uh, outside shower with hot and cold. Black tank flush. Your city water connection. Satellite and cable hookup. Detachable power cord. We have rain gutters and spout extension. It's also ready for backup camera at the back. We have our spare tire and cover. We have a two inch uh, hitch. So a class V hitch that can handle 250 pounds. A roof ladder. All exterior lights, including the tail lights are LED. We have four electric stabilizer jacks with individual switch and motors. You got a new step system on this. This one made by Lippert. Foldable entry handle. We have <laughs> Goodyear Wrangler tires on, and they're 15 inch on aluminum wheels. And we don't get to see, but behind that, we have torsion axle, not leaves. A huge upgrade, a spray port. So that's a connection to your cold water system. Even though you have an outside shower, you have another connection to the water system on this side. A cable and a power outlet. This is where you fill in your fresh water tank. Furnace, there's a, oh, we'll have to take a look inside. Outside speakers, we have an awning with LED lights. There's your switch for the front jacks. And look at the size of that door. I'm a huge fan. I really dislike going camping and having a hard time putting my stuff in the cupboards, in the storage, the pass-through storage. So you got a bigger chair or something like that and you want to take along, not an issue. Your barbecue, not an issue. Everything's going to fit through here. On the inside, they actually make the same trailer without a slide, believe it or not. So the 1808 is that nice little compromise because it is 20 foot in length and that's including the tongue. This way, this one weighs 3906, and if we would have the sofa, it'd be 100 pounds more. So let's start at the front. We have our bed sideways, lots of storage above, two windows that opens, 
all pleated shades on all the windows. There is a USB outlet, a little place to store your phone. All interior lights are LED and there's a privacy curtain. Hanging closet right here. They actually added a shelf that you can remove, but the bar is there and a little bit more below. We have a 10 cubic foot fridge, huge, 12 volts. So we can use the entire depth of the cabinet. That's how we get so much fridge. It's more like a house quality or residential quality. Now folks, this is running on 12 volts alone. So obviously if you do a lot of dry campings, we need to talk about batteries, but will it be really necessary? We have 190 watt solar panel on the roof that's gonna keep that battery top. So I don't think that's going to be an issue. There's lots of videos online as to how long can we go uh, with this fridge on a regular battery, no solar panel, and you're going to be very surprised uh, to see uh, how long this thing lasts. It's an inverted technology, doesn't use a lot of power. It, it gets cold in an hour to an hour and a half. It's ready to go camping. Your gas electric fridge, that takes a full day. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, there's no... Uh, uh, no gas line that needs to be run. They can use the entire depth. Uh, there's no chimney that needs to be installed on the roof. This is a great uh, change in the RV industry. Now, right beside, we have a three burner stove, bifold glass top, cast iron grill. There's no propane oven, but you do get a nice big drawers for your pots and pans. The counter is thermofoiled. It's uh, basically shaped to its form with heat so there won't be any water damage on the edge like the old days um they put the backsplash that imitate the counter it's kind of nice we have a very large farmer style stainless steel very deep uh sink under mounted and nice quality sink cover look at this folks not those little flimsy that we used to have. pull out tap there's a light, there's a light, there's storage above, and I did mention no propane oven, but you do get a convection microwave oven. So this will do both. It will cook your chicken or it will warm up the leftover from the night before. All the drawers are plywood made, ball bearing hardware. Everything runs and close and open very nicely. A little bit of storage below the sink here. There is an extra shelf for a little bit of extra counter. And right where you come in, you get your TV, your control panels for your slide out awning and to see what's happening with your freshwater tank, gray and black, and some of the lights, uh, switches, as well as your water heater and your pump. We have the new GBL uh, Bluetooth stereo AM FM, and we have a place right here to charge your phone. Again, a little bit more storage. There's a couple hook, but they had it a shelf. It's removable. And a little bit more on this side. Now we gotta keep in mind, folks, this trailer box length is 16 foot. Lots of storage for a little trailer. A traditional dinette, storage below, and they have uh, put doors at the front to have access to that. And a couple years ago, when Ibago changed the way the table goes down, it's on a strut, very nice. All you need to do is flip your handle, the table will go down and sit between the two cushions. You use the other two cushions to fill in. There's a USB outlet, LED lights again throughout. The unit will come with AC as well. Power fan in the vent right here. And our little bathroom, but complete. We got a nice little corner shower. We have a medicine cabinet, nice little vanity with a stainless steel sink. The towel bar is already on the wall. We have a full flush toilet, a power fan, and a skylight. As far as small trailer is concerned, kind of getting almost to be unbeatable. Everything is here, nothing's missing. Uh, even with some of the features, like the big fridge, for example, a lot of those smaller trailers will come with under the counter fridge. So we do get a fridge that you're gonna get in some of the biggest trailer on the market today. So it's pretty complete so next and last thing we want to do is we want to go and take a look at that option which is a sofa bed instead of your dining which is right in the one behind same trailer same features only difference where you sit
So a lot of camp, a lot of campers like the sofa option because they say we're outside, but inside the trailer, if the weather is not very nice, we would like to have a better place to sit. And this is what uh, this does. Not only that, but it converts into a sleeping arrangement that will sleep two adults very comfortably. Now there is no table showing at this point, but there is one. It goes on that mount in the front of the sofa and the parts are in the extra storage that we get behind. So there's an arm and a tabletop. Now, to give you an idea of how this works, all you need to do is let it slide. And here you go. Full bed. So if you have friends coming to visit for a day or you got the grandkids coming for a little trip with grandpa grandma or whatever it is, you have a decent extra sleeping arrangement in a trailer box that's 16 foot, 20 overall, overall length. This trailer, however, is just a little over 4,000 pounds. This little configuration added a little bit of extra weight. So folks, if you have any questions, please give us a call. Uh, stop by if you're in the neighborhood. I'd be happy to show you. I think we're done it. Thanks for watching.